Hello guys and welcome to part 3 of the random level generation tutorial. In this one we are going to make the generator move and first off let's just add a little icon to it so we can see it. So it, it should pop something up here. Wait a minute. Hmm. What is this? There we go. So just uh, add one of these so we just can see it. So that's a cool trick to being able to see empty game objects. So let's jump directly into the script and start creating something. So we want to move the generator for each tile that we're going to create, so which is the tile amount. And we're going to create a for loop for that. So we're going to say for int i equals to zero and i is less than tile amount i plus plus. So if you ain't familiar with uh, a for loop, basically what this does it is defining a variable and integer called i and if the i is uh, less than tile amount it will increment the i so add one to it and it will do this until this here is not true okay so in here we want to or not yet we want to create another function and this function is going to call be called void uh, move gen and this was just uh, in this function we will just make the generator move and I guess we will put a uh, number in here hmm. let's put in a integer called dir. and this will basically be the direction the uh, generator will move so we want to create a random value here and that is going to be an uh, integer called direction and that direction is going to be equal to random dot range uh, from 0 to 3 I guess so 0 will be up 1 will be right 2 will be down and 3 will be left okay so we want to call this move gen function and we will put in the direction. Good, so for each tile that we're going to create, we're going to move the generator in one of these directions. Okay, so in the move gen, we want to say we want to create a switch and that is going to be the direction. And this is basically just you're going to see. So, so it's so the way a switch works is by using these case here, and basically what this does is is checking if dir is zero or or one or two and etc. So if it is zero, it will run the code inside here. And if it is one, it will run here. Okay, so that is just a switch statement. It's pretty simple. You can look it up on the Unity scripting reference if you want to get some more in depth view of it. Break A3 and break. So now we got all these cases. Good. So if it is zero, we want to move upwards. So we want to say transform that position will be equal to new vector three, and it will be transform dot position dot x and transform dot position dot y plus because we're going upwards, we want to say plus the tile size because we want to move a whole tile and then just say is zero because we don't use the C axis good so that is upwards and let's copy it down here in case one is right we 
we're just basically going to copy this over here. So it is going to add the tile size to the position X, which is going to be going right. Let me just copy this line again. Down here. Good. And for case two, it's going down. So it's going to minus from the Y position here. So minus, no, minus tile size. And here it's going to say minus tile size on the X. Good, so now we are moving the uh, generator up, left, right, and you know, down. So let me just check if we got everything right here. So upwards, right, down, left. Yeah, I guess it's right. Okay. Um, so let's see here. How do we actually slow down the process of this? Oh yeah. So we can say yield return wait for seconds uh, 1 point nice no, 0 0.1 oh, we need a new here and let's just create a variable for that so that's going to be a public float wait time And that is going to slow down the process so we can see what's going on. Okay, let's go into Unity again. And put in a wait time here. And let's see if it works. And it does. You can see it is moving randomly around. Which is cool. So now we got some random movement on our level generator and in the next part we are probably going to do some spawning of the tiles and maybe fixing some stuff here. So thank you for watching and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any problems or any suggestions, like the video, thank you for watching. <laughs>